Here's how to share slides like this in a Microsoft Teams meeting. The benefit is that you remain full height on the screen with your slides to the side, and that makes it easier for you to engage with your audience while you're presenting. To create this layout, we're going to be using OBS Studio, which is a free and open source tool. Download it with the links in the video description below. When you first install OBS Studio, all you will see is this black canvas. Let's start by adding our webcam. In the sources section, I'm going to click on the plus button and then I'm going to add a video capture device. Here I get an opportunity to name it something. My video camera is called the Canon M50. So I'm going to type that and click OK. Here is a list of all the webcams that I have on my system. The EOS webcam utility is already selected and I can just click OK there to add it to my OBS Studio setup. The easiest way to make my camera full screen is to press Control F on my keyboard. I want to have my camera off to the right hand side. So all I have to do is drag it here a little bit. And you can see that it will also snap into place when it's vertically aligned so that it fills the entire vertical space. So let's say I'm happy with that. I'm going to click on the lock icon there so that I don't accidentally move it. Now we're going to add the PowerPoint slides. There are a few different ways to bring PowerPoint into OBS. We're going to use the most straightforward method. In the sources section, I'm going to click on plus and then on window capture. It's going to ask me for a name. Let's call this PPT. I'm going to click OK here. And in this dialog box, I get a list of all the applications that are currently running on my system. I'm going to go to the top menu here and click on PowerPoint and then press OK. The PowerPoint window has now been added to my OBS setup, but I want it to be a little bit smaller so that it doesn't cover me so I can drag it there. And then in order to place it in the center of the vertical space, I can just drag it and you can see that it clicks into place. We have now added PowerPoint to our OBS studio, but what we actually want to do is use the slideshow functionality. And here we will run into the first problem. We're going to solve this problem, but the problem is that if I now activate the PowerPoint slideshow on my machine, it's going to fill up the whole screen. But if I now switch back to OBS, you can see that it's actually not running the slideshow in this window because that slideshow is actually a separate window on the system. So we need to go back into PowerPoint and configure the slideshow a little bit differently so that we can more easily use it within OBS Studio. So I'm going to stop the slideshow there, go back into PowerPoint and then go into the slideshow menu. And then I'm going to click on set up slideshow. Usually people use the top choice here, which is that the slides are presented by a speaker in full screen. But we want to use this second choice, which is that they are presented in a window. So I'm going to click on that there and then select OK. Now, when I press F5 to start the slideshow, it's actually going to run inside the same PowerPoint window. That makes it easier for us to bring that into OBS Studio. Let's switch over. And now you can see that the slideshow is running inside that window that we captured into OBS Studio. If I cycle to the next slides here, you can see that they're also coming through in OBS. Let's go back to the title slide for some additional fine tuning. You can see here in OBS Studio that the edges of the frame here actually contain a few little items from PowerPoint, but we can easily cut them out by holding down the Alt key on the keyboard and then just dragging the mouse like that to cut up the bottom part. We can do the same with the top part. And now we have a much nicer looking screen share. If I'm happy with that, I can also lock it in place here in the sources section. The next thing I want to do is add a background because when I move the camera to the right hand side of the image, it left this black area where the camera previously was. In order to add a background, I'm going to go back into the sources section and then select color source. Once again, I have the opportunity to name it something. I'm going to call it background color. 
Here I can choose which color I want to use. I'm going to pick my Martini Olive brand color that I usually use and then click on OK. Once again, the background is full screen, which is OK, but it's also on top of everything else. To move it to the bottom of the stack, all I have to do is click it there and then click on the down arrows to move it down between the layers. When I'm happy with that, I can also lock it in place so that I don't accidentally move it. Now our setup is looking pretty good. Let's bring this over to Microsoft Teams. The first step is to start the OBS virtual camera. All I have to do here is click on start virtual camera. For the next step, let's jump over to Microsoft Teams. We are immediately going to run into a small problem, but we are also going to fix that. Here we are inside of a Microsoft Teams meeting. I'm going to go into my device settings and make sure that the OBS virtual camera is selected as my camera inside of Teams. Now, as soon as I activate the camera, what we created in OBS Studio will come through. However, you immediately see that the image is mirrored. Now, this is nothing that you really need to worry about because the other participants will see your image the correct way. Microsoft Teams just mirrors this only for you. Unfortunately, Teams does not allow you to reverse this mirroring. In Zoom, you can do it, but in Teams, it is not currently supported. But let me offer you two workarounds. The most straightforward one is to not actually look at yourself in the Teams meeting. Just focus on the other people in the meeting instead. When you need to look at your own slides, just switch over to OBS Studio. The second solution that I'd like to offer is that you can use screen sharing instead. For this, I'm going to create a separate window from OBS by right clicking in the preview area here. And then I'm going to click on the full screen projector for the preview feed. And then I'm going to select my monitor here. What this now creates is a separate window that is full screen. And this is now easy to share into your Teams meeting. So let's jump over to Teams. Here we are back in Teams, still mirrored, but now I'm going to share some content by clicking the button up here. And then I'm going to pick one of the windows that I have on my system. And that window that I'm going to pick is that full screen projector preview that we previously created. And now you can see that the slides are the right way also when I'm looking at it, when I'm using the screen sharing functionality in Teams. There are so many amazing things you can do with OBS Studio in creating impressive visuals for your audience. Let me show you my full video conferencing setup made with OBS Studio. This is how I prefer to share slides when I'm video conferencing. With this setup, I can easily switch slides, but I can also quickly switch layouts. And I can put my camera in the corner. I can quickly remove it completely. I can bring it back to my webcam only view, and then I can also put my slides next to me. If you would like to copy my setup, just go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS. I made it available there as a digital download and a little mini course. For more great tips on how to use OBS Studio for video conferencing, click or tap the screen right here. In that playlist, I share plenty more tips of all the amazing things that you can do with OBS Studio. For example, creating a meeting timer. My name is Marcus Seppala. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.